This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with Macklin's in Marbella. We're in Liverpool here for the press conference between Derry Matthews and Tony Luis. Welcome to uh, Liverpool in England, uh, Thank you. Tony. Um, a late call for you. You were meant to be fighting uh, Ira Terry this Saturday. You got the call uh, to get a shot at the WBA interim title and uh, you took it with both hands. Yep, uh, we had a good uh, full training camp, a hard training camp, a smart training camp. Uh, so I was already in condition and uh, I wouldn't have taken the fight if I didn't feel ready. Were you aware of the situation regardless going on between obviously Derry was meant to find Richard Abril and then it changed last week to Barossa and then a couple of days later in comes Tony Louise. Were you aware of what was going on before you got the call or not really? No, I was because I always follow closely what's going on in my weight division. So uh, I like to know what's going on there and keep tabs on the other contenders and champions that I may have to or may not have to face in the near future. So I was already aware of the situation and I was pleasantly surprised whenever I got the call. A lot of the UK fans will not be like I said, aware of you or your record, but you know you come here with a, a, a 21 fight, 19 wins from them 21 fights. Yeah. So um, how, how would you describe your style and what kind of fighter are you? What can the UK fans expect to see from Tony Louise this uh, they, week? They can expect to see excitement. I'm a boxer puncher. I mean, I, I can box and move. I have fast hands. I can also fight particularly well on the inside as well and come forward if I have to. So uh, I can mix it up pretty well. And uh, I know he can as well. So I think it's going to be an interesting clash of styles. And if people in the UK haven't heard of me yet, they'll know who I am after Saturday night. Okay, we, we shall see. Um, how much of Derry Matthews have you seen? Uh, in I've, seen him, I've seen him a number of times. I'd already uh, I'd heard of him and seen of him uh, before I got the call for this fight. And then uh, I had to watch him again to get a refresher whenever we got the, uh, offered the fight. And um, he has a good skill set. He, you know, he, he brings uh, good skills and experience to the table. I know he's a seasoned veteran and he's had some highs and lows in his career. But he's proven he has the ability to bounce back from defeat and come back stronger, as have I. And that's why it's going to be a good fight. We obviously know that uh, Perez has been elevated to the full uh, WBA champion. Um, what will happen with Richard Abreu is yet to be seen. But this is your target now to yeah. obviously to move Derry Matthews out of the way and focus on your own career and getting a shot at Perez or Abreu, whoever that may be in the future. Well, absolutely. And that's why we couldn't say no to this fight because uh, we were in shape. The terms are fair. So when you you know when you get a title shot, more often than not you don't say no, you take it. You're from Ontario. Yes. In Canada. Yes, Ontario, Canada. Ontario is the province um, from the country of Canada. Have you been to England before? No, first time. But uh, I've when in the amateurs, uh, I represented Canada in various international meets, and um, I fought three people. Three I beat three fighters from the United Kingdom. I beat the Scottish champion. Uh, the Welsh champion and the Irish champion, and I missed out on the Brits. I never fought the Brits, so I'm going to make up do, for that. Do you remember who they were? The names of the the Irish Scott and the John Thane yep. was the junior national champion yep. uh, that I'd beaten, um, and I don't remember the Irish or the uh, Welshman that I that I beat. But re regardless, I beat three out of the four from the United Kingdom. I missed the Brit, so I'm going to make up for that this weekend. <laughs> okay, okay, and obviously first time in Liverpool as well, and yeah. when did you arrive here? Last night. Did you, <laughs> did you do anything last night? Uh, yeah, I went to bed. <laughs> I, had a, I had supper, then I went to bed. <laughs> can you understand the Scousers, what they're called here in Liverpool, the Scousers, the, the strong accent here, can you? Yo, I have no problem understanding that. Yeah. I, I, learnt, uh, I spent two weeks in Scotland in the amateurs, Oh, then you're, so you're good. Uh, I got quite familiar with the accent back then, but yeah, no, this is a... Uh, it's not, yeah, it's not bad at all. No struggle. <laughs> okay. All right, and well, listen, Tony... Uh, I love the accent, by the way. The Scouts accents are very strong, and <laughs> you don't forget it. Yeah, You'll be trying yeah. to work out yourself. You'll be mimicking <laughs> yourself in your bedroom at one night. <laughs> all right, Tony, listen, best of luck on Saturday night, and uh, let's hope it's a great fight between you and Derry. Absolutely. Thank you very right. much. Thank you very much.